welcome back guys we're in the next segment and uh, what I wanted to do before we go in look into the custom cubes and how we can duplicate and put those in uh, I just want to quickly do a smaller video and more of a, a recap uh, that shows you advanced uh, randomizations so editing timing and rotations just so I've got a, a separate video that covers that in more detail so what we've got here is we've got uh, animation 3 loaded onto all the cubes and all the orientations are the same we've got the same pan, the same tilt they're in the same uh, positions as before but they're not offset, there's no timing offsets down here and uh, as I said all the, all the pan tilts are the same so to randomize it I just want to show you a, a trick or two because it makes it a lot quicker for me so I might as well share that information with yourselves what I like to do is in, uh, in the pans and the tilts I like to go and type plus 90 and then I just copy that plus 90 bit control C and from there I can just go in and I can just start hitting paste paste or paste 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 and it will just update and spin spin each cube in the pan axis remember the pan axis is spinning it round so if we let the cache load now see how everything's spun round slightly differently and we're not quite as symmetrical so that's how I do it there but remember how before when we did it here if you do it by 90 degrees we're actually going to see the back end of the cube so it's going to have this back corner point facing this way which obviously changes the whole structure the whole geometric look of this structure changes when we do that so that's not really what we want to do um, what you, what you want to do if you want to adapt it on that axis is to change it by uh, twice that you want to change it by 180 it will spin it all the way around so it will look completely different there we go so what I'll do is I'll just double tap paste to add two sets of 90 to some of these so we get a real interesting really different look a lot of these are still the same so there we go we're getting a lot more randomized now there we go so if I let that update you should probably see that we've got something that looks way way more organic and different I'm seeing some I'm not actually seeing some similarities it's actually looking pretty sweet okay so we'll leave that as is and as I said before the other thing you can do is offset all the timings now all the timings here they loop at 448 frames um, it's actually it goes up to 447, 448 is multiples of 14 which works well as a BPM to FPS which is beats per minute and frames per minute ratio, it's an animation ratio I've used for years, it works really well, trust me it's great so I make things loop generally at 112 frames, 224 frames and 448 frames just in case anyone wanted to know that which you probably didn't now I've put the three, as I said, the three uh, markers on here just so you can always see what cubes what but if we start sliding these left and right or should I say left you always want to slide left because these layers um, they continue they sort of loop onwards and onwards and onwards I think they do four, four repetitions of the same thing so we can just offset the layers like this and they're always going to loop because it's exactly the same here as it is here no matter where I put these layers here and here is always going to look the same so it always loops something I didn't actually mention earlier which is kind of um, important to know so now see how we're changing the look up because I am changing um, the timing of the layers I want to kind of I don't want to make it too uniform these spaces I want it to kind of be a bit random cool and that is it for this video guys now we've completely changed the look of this design and that would be reflected no matter what models you drop in here what uh, sorry what no matter what animation style cube style you drop in now it looks way better way more organic than it did at the start if you remember when you first opened this tutorial everything looked very very uniform um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stop this recording in a second and I'm gonna just have some of these loaded into my RAM and I'll play those for you uh, but just to get a little a little idea of what I mean, um, we'll take uh, we'll take <clears throat> take number two, which is a it's a green liquid drop, 
and if I replace all these compositions with the liquid drop, you'll see that everything I've done thus far remains. We'd have to do it again. It's just drag and drop replace using alt, your alt drag and drop the clips in, and then it will replace them, and it will keep all your orientations, and it will keep your timing offsets, which of course saves you a bunch of time. Meaning you can give someone the production of maybe a month's work in less than five hours. You can really get this. I mean, that's even that's an exaggeration. You could probably do a month's work in about 30 minutes <laughs> using our tool, which is helpful. Now this one, I'm loading it up as a, a full, full resolution. So it's going to take a little second to load it into the cache because this particular clip is mighty complex. There's a lot of uh, vertices in the actual 3D model itself because it's liquid. There we go, and you can see what that looks like. Let's do one more. Let's do. Let's do cube nine, and we'll place that in. I'll drop the resolution down. It doesn't need to be astronomically high. We're currently looking at it with full resolution, so we'll put it down to half. And that sums up this tutorial. Oh, one thing to mention, I must say, again, the rotations could be a little confusing. That is all within the clip, so if you wanted to go in and stop the rotations from happening, the tumbling, that is something I'm covering in the next tutorial. So, thank you guys, and I'll see you in the next one where you can edit. You can edit specific parameters of each of these clips by going into the clip, and then you can save those new versions if you want as, your, as a custom thing you've done, and then you can use it again later. So see you for the next one. Thank you. DJVB.